If you're looking for the ultimate mini PC, then I don't think it gets much better than this. This is the ASRock Desk Mini. This is the 310 version, the Intel version, although they do actually have a Ryzen version as well as also one with a full fat GTX 1080 which is uh, rather interesting on the gaming side of things. As you can tell, this thing is absolutely tiny and quite frankly fits anywhere you want to put it. You want to put it on your desk next to your monitor? Done. You want to put it on the back of your monitor with the visa mount? Still done. Want to put it on your TV stand and hide it away? Still done. You want to put it in your shoe? Well, maybe not quite, but it's kind of close though. So what's the use case for this then, especially the non-gaming version? Uh, realistically, this is just the perfect mini desk PC, whether that's for an office, at home or at work, or you can even use it as an HTPC or even a NAS if you really want to. Uh, and anything that requires a decent little PC with some pretty impressive hardware but not necessarily, you know, graphics heavy stuff like gaming. A quick tour of the Desk Mini will reveal that, well, it's pretty limited on USB ports. In fact, you only have one Type-C on the front and then a total of three Type-A's full stop. It actually packs a pretty decent punch inside. This one is the 310, which means it is the Intel H310 chipset motherboard, which means you can put anything up to, at least in my case anyway, an 8700K, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. If you're buying new, I would recommend going for something like an 8400, which is what I really recommend. Uh, I only have an 8700K in here because that's the only chip I have that is actually supported. You also have two SODIMM DDR4 RAM DIMM slots, that's sort of laptop memory. Uh, and actually I have a Corsair Value Select kit in here, which is actually really very nice. I genuinely recommend it. And it's actually amazing. Well, value as the name implies. This is an eight gig kit. The uh, Desk Mini actually supports up to 32 gigs though, which is pretty awesome. If you wanted to say use this as a light photo editing machine, for example, that is certainly an option. And then you also have two M.2 slots in here. Now don't get your hopes up too much there. Only one of those is for storage. The other one is for a Wi-Fi module. If you fancy installing one, this is a bare bones kit, so keep that in mind. Uh, but if one M.2 SSD isn't enough for you, they also have two compact SATA ports on the back with adapter cables in the box so that you can run the two available uh, two and a half inch hard drive or you know, drive bays on the back, which is incredibly impressive. That means if you happen to throw, say, two of these five terabyte Seagate Barracuda drives in there, you could use this as a NAS, which is kind of insane. More likely though, I would recommend something like a two terabyte hard drive and maybe a 500 gig SSD boot drive or something like that if you don't fancy using the M.2. But either way, that is your options. You also actually have a micro SD card slot hidden under there, which is actually a very nice shout if you're planning on using this as a free NAS or generally even a, a Linux box, you can boot off of the micro SD card slot and save all of your storage for use with your OS. All of those features really add up to make this thing a pretty versatile little box. It's something that you could run Linux on. You could use this as a you know point of sale or display machine. You can use this as an office PC. You can use it as an HTPC with Kodi or something like that. You can run it as a Plex server and a playback box. There's a whole load of options that you can run with this. And especially for the price they're asking for it, it's actually pretty reasonable. The price for this bare bones unit, at least in the UK at the time of filming, is around about 150 pounds, which is, as I said, pretty reasonable. Of course, that is bare bones, so you will still need to install a CPU, RAM, and uh, some form of storage to get it working. But with the configuration I have, minus the you know 8700K going for an 8400K, uh, with the eight gigabytes of Corsair Value Select RAM and the Corsair MP300 M.2 SSD, you're looking at around about 400 pounds for that sort of configuration, which certainly isn't bad considering the sort of power you would get. And as I mentioned, all the versatility that this thing offers. So to answer the question I ask in all of these videos, would I put this on my desk or more likely would I put it, you know, in my living room or on my partner's desk? Uh, the answer for that is hands down 100% yes. This is a very versatile and pretty impressive little machine that's not incredibly expensive and can be kitted out to a fair, fair extent as well. 
well so it is uh, rather impressive and I do highly recommend it obviously there's a lot of different use cases so if you uh, think of anything that I haven't mentioned in the video feel free to let me know in the comments down below as well I would also love to hear your thoughts on the desk mini in the comments down below is this something you're interested in is this something that would be great for your sort of living room PC your for your partner or something like that so I'd love to hear your thoughts as I mentioned if you do want to check it out I've left a link in the description down below that will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when away you watch this and as always if you've got any questions leave those in the comments down below there's plenty of other links in the description down below as well including hoodies and t-shirts like this one or a load of other designs or you can check out the Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links they don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them there's also Patreon if you want to support me directly and get cool rewards or doing so and a load of other stuff like private internet access which is, which is a great and cheap VPN or Humble Mundo for cheap games that support charities too. You can also check out some other videos over there and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon for more videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Otherwise that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next video.